We're going to be doing several sewing skills before we sew the sock monkey and before we make the little robot project. So the first one will be your slip stitch. Take your 7 by 7 inch um, sewing skill pattern and cut three squares out of the muslin fabric. Please be sure to iron the fabric before you cut it. The first sewing skill is the slip stitch. This is a hem stitch that is used on any edge that has been clean finished. Woven fabrics require a seam finish to prevent raveling. As you work on this stitch, you'll see that it gets its name because the needle slips through the fold between stitches. The clean finish is the first step in completing the slip stitch. The purpose of the clean finish is to prevent raveling. Once the edge is finished, the slip stitch is applied. So the first step is to cut the 7 by 7 inch fabric and I'll show you what that looks like. Step number one is to fold a quarter inch and iron it. Then you'll take it to the sewing machine and step number two will be to stitch that clean finished edge down. The third step is to form a two inch hem. So go back to the ironing board and fold up two inches and iron that. Step number four is to hem with the slip stitch, or it also be called a blind hem because you cannot see anything. So if it's done correctly, you'll barely see any stitches here or on the other side. Do not use your embroidery needle. Use one of the smaller sharp needles that's in the white envelope in your sewing kit. Then you will take about three widths of what you will be hemming, like three lengths of thread of what you'll hemming and clip that. And then go ahead and thread your needle. Double the thread through your needle and then to be able to make a one fingered knot you place the thread on your finger, wrap it around, make an X, and then roll that X off the end and pull it into a knot. Sometimes it doesn't always work, so you have to practice. I'm still not perfect at it. If you can't do it that way, just go ahead and make a little loop. Pull the tail through and cut off the extra thread that's hanging off. I'm using a, a dark thread so that you can see what I'm doing, but when you make your sample, you want to use a white colored thread or a light colored thread so it will be less noticeable. I'm just using this so that it's easier for you to see. So you start off by bringing your knot through the little tunnel. So we've created a tunnel with this clean finish. So I'm going to go inside the tunnel and come out the top right at the fold. Then exactly from where I came out at the fold, I'm going to take a little couple, pick up a thread or two of the fabric. This, what's ma this is why it's called a slip stitch because when you go back down from where you just took a bite of thread, you go back down into that little tunnel you've created. I don't know if you can see, but the needle's right in there. And you want to go about a half a fingertip and pull that through. Now I'm in the folded edge, the clean finished edge of the fabric. From here, I'm going to go directly into the fabric. Grab a couple pieces of thread. Now I'm using my finger on the back here to, to help support the fabric. Come up, then I'm going to go back down into that fold and go about a half a finger, t finger length inside the fold. Now I'm in the fold of the fabric. So when I was trying to teach this, I tried to make up a little story. And I don't know if you guys know about Peter Rabbit. So I'll just say it's about a little bunny. He hops up out of his tunnel and he eats a little blade of grass, but he sees Farmer John coming so he doesn't want to get in trouble so he hops down into his tunnel right back where he came from. He goes along, he's still hungry so he hops up out of his tunnel and then he takes a little bite 
of thread. I don't know, maybe I should change the story around and say, there was a needle and thread that loved to play. They played hide and seek. So first the needle went in the tunnel to hide, and then he came out to seek. <laughs> and then he found a piece of fabric and took a little bite. And then it was time to hide, so he went back down into the tunnel and came back up. So I have thread that's showing here, and then you'll see where I took my little bites of fabric on the other side. But if you use um, the white thread, then it will barely show. So you continue all the way across, and then you make a knot. When you get to the very end, to the other side, you'll make a knot. There's a diagram on the back of the sheet that shows you how to do it. So here I am. I've hopped and hided and seeked my way across to the other side. Take one last little stitch to finish. And then to make the knot, we'll be doing this when we do our embroidery, when we do the sock monkey. Every single time you take a little bite of fabric, you pull until you have a loop, you hop through the loop, tighten that down, and you're all finished. When you're done, take your sample for your slip stitch and staple it right here. Make the hem hanging down, staple it at the top up here so that when I'm looking at them I can and look and see how you did on the top and on the bottom. 